And in your good health this morning, upper respiratory infections are going around and a lot of people are feeling congested. And that leads to the inevitable question, do I need antibiotics? Dr. McGeorge is here on our Wellness Wednesday to explain when an antibiotic might be necessary for sinus infection. Let's start with what and where the sinuses are. Now, in this skull model, the sinuses are these hollow air-filled pockets in the bones of your face. Now, the main ones are called the frontal, those are up here, the maxillary, right here under your eyes, and the ethmoid sinuses, which are right back here above and behind your nose. Now, when you have face pain in these areas, there's a good chance that your sinuses are full, but you don't always need an antibiotic. Most sinus problems are caused by allergies or a viral infection. Neither of these are treated with antibiotics. Common symptoms of a sinus problem are nasal congestion, discolored nasal discharge, facial pain, a change in your sense of smell, and even bad breath and upper tooth pain. Now, these symptoms really just mean there's fluid and pressure buildup in the sinus, not necessarily a bacterial infection that would benefit from antibiotics. Over time, it is possible for the fluid and mucus to become infected with bacteria, and that's when we use antibiotics. Things that might indicate a bacterial sinusitis include symptoms that have persisted past 10 days, high fever, discolored sputum or severe facial pain for more than three days, and symptoms that worsen after a period of initial improvement. In these cases, you should talk to your doctor about a potential benefit for antibiotics. Now, additional things that can help are saline nasal irrigation or a neti pot, treatment of allergies if that's the trigger, and humidifying the air to help keep the mucus draining and keep it thinner. Pain medication like Tylenol or Ibuprofen can also be helpful. Now, decongestants can also be helpful for symptom relief. Just keep in mind that nasal sprays like Afrin or Neosinephrine, well, they should only be used sparingly and only for a couple days to reduce the chance of their worsening nasal and sinus swelling and inflammation. Back to you.